can't see my eyes, but you know I'm smiling at you. What's happening, Danielle with the D? Danielle with the D. You came to see Boogie. Go Wanda Woods, you know what's good. What's up, Leanna? I say, what's up, Leanna? I'm from Louisiana. They call it New Orleans, you know, and that's what we... Hold up, let me pin it. All right, this mask about to damn make me pass out. I'm about to take this motherfucker off. Hey, I might have to do it one like this one day for y'all. I might start coming to your houses and broadcasting live from your crib. Doing the Let Me Stretch You Out live in your house. I might let you, I might let y'all talk me into that one. I might come to your city and do a comedy show. And I set up at this same time, set up the Let Me Stretch You Out show in your living room. And you can sit around and watch and interact as we go along. I might do that, but I might have to do it with books. With my mask on the whole time. But I might tell everybody just get back and let me do it. Just bag back. Everybody pull your phones out. Watch it on your phone in your house while I'm in your house. So let me stress you out your walk-ups, baby. What's up, Rosie Deal? Yeah, Rosie from California. Yes, Lawanda Woods River. Let me see who else in here. Duke, Duke, did Duke, Duke. Duke, Duke, what's happening, Duke? What up, the inno is in the building, what's happening? Shawana Shanks, what's good, baby? I need you today, Shawana Shanks. Shawana Shanks, hey, Duke, you don't know about Shawana Shanks now. Hey, let me tell you about her, Duke. You don't know about her, bro. Let me tell you what's happening with Shawana Shanks in the comments. That is one of my good lesbian stud homeboys. And that's a home. Little homies, I don't know what you call them, little home, whatever. That's one of my people. Come on, Shawana Shanks, you know you come here every day to play with Boogie B now. And you got that strap on, ding a lean, right in the poke it, poke, poke, poke somebody. <laughs> Whichever one of these ladies want to get poked on, you holler at Shawana Shanks and watch her poke you up. I don't know why my shit ain't hanging on today in this shit. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Let me see where we at. I don't know why I feel like I'm tilted down so much. It's about to make me imbalance my stand. What's happening? Let me see. Amy Ross with the salt in here. This is still the meet and greet portion of the Let Me Stretch You Out show. I'm so sorry. I'm off key. It's been a few days. I've been in Atlanta doing comedy. Seven damn comedy shows in one weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Atlanta, Georgia. What's up, MK? MK, thank you for coming, baby. I've had a few patients waiting just so I can laugh for a few. Oh, thank you so much for coming in here with all them presses on your body. Thank you, Leanna. Thank you so much, uh, Brandy Elkins. All my boogettes in here. All them little red roses that you see in the chat, MK. That's my boogettes. Don't, they put them little purple hearts because they are in what I like to call the purple pack. This is my boogie beehive. Boogie bros, boogettes, and damn purple pack. And I'll explain purple pack to you in a minute if you need it. If you don't know what purple pack is and you in this comment, put a hand like that. Put a hand like that in the chat if you never heard of what I mean by purple pack. And then I'll tell you. I'll tell you if you want to know. But if everybody in here know, then I ain't going to tell you again. Because what what's understood don't need to be explained, Danielle with the D. Rose, thank you so much for coming from Cali. Thank you so much, Charlotte, Jessica Rabbit. This is just the meet and greet portion of the Let Me Stress You Out show where I introduce you to you. I'm introducing you to Linda Williams and you to Larry, uh, Wynette Nance, one of my top bookettes with a badge over her head. Let me stand right here so y'all can see the comments a little better. Danielle Williamson. What is it? Danielle Williamson. Them. Don't let me stress you out. Come on in here, Danielle. Stress me out there. Get you some stress. You, hey, go on my damn page and get you some of this shit. I'm selling this for y'all. Now, nah, shit. I want y'all to look like me when we see each other. Shit. 
I need you to have your, let, let me stretch you out my ass on when you come to the show when I come to your city. Nikita White, thank you so much for coming. Cheryl Lockhart, I know you in the purple pack, baby. I'm so sorry. You know I get carried away. At the Lord, thank you for coming, baby girl. Let me see. Gideon. That's what it is. Gideon NBA. Okay, Gideon, come on in with your goddamn NBA about to make my little book ass put that purple pack on you. You're lucky you got a if you you're lucky if you get a woman. What's up, Shay Brown? That's Romisha. Romisha. Your little wild ass almost got put out the goddamn comedy show. Over Boogie B. All my book ass go hard over me. One of my book ass whom I never met came to the comedy show and they tried to do some little shady shit or say something to her Boogie B. And she went ham. I was like, oh, she done lost it. Oh, uh, some of my book ass is going to be bipolar. I can tell you that right now. Linda Williams, if you pay for your hoodie, your hoodie should be there. Or almost there. Linda Williams, inbox me. Let me know if you got your hoodie, baby girl. If you didn't get it yet, let me check on it. Uh, Teresa Davis, any of y'all, why not all y'all? If you ain't get your hoodie, inbox me. Let me know if you ain't got it yet. And let me see what's going on. Let me make sure we got your check in. Um, let me see. Teresa Davis, yes. Romisha. Yeah, Romisha held it down almost too much. Almost helped it down to the point where she went to the penitentiary. Shawana Shane. Hey, you know I show it out, baby girl. I show out everywhere I go, baby. You already know. Linda Williams. Thank you so much, baby girl. I appreciate you. Romeo, what's going on, Romeo? This is the other meet great portion of the Let me show you out show. Let me look at the time real quick. Romeo Harris from Chicago, Illinois. What the hell are you coming into the Let Me Stress You Out show being so poignant like that? Coming in this bitch talking about, hey, Boogie, I love ya. I love your ass too, Chicago. Shit. What's happening, Miss Net? Miss Net said I got mine, but it's in GA and I'm in South Carolina. Well, you got it. Long as you own it, it's all right. What's happening, Keith? One of my, one of my bro bros. We go way back, like folks flat on the Cadillac. What's happening, Cat Lee? Thank you for coming again, baby girl. You're always here. This is just the meet and greet portion where I'm going to just introduce you to you. I don't think I saw no hands of no new people in the comments. Did I see a hand? Gideon new. Gideon is new. Okay, Gideon, you are new. You one of my new book and pros. I need you to come in here. I need you to let me tell you what's going on in these comments real quick. When I say purple pack, what I mean and what I'm referring to is a top level of vagina. Top level vagina is purple pack of Skittles, nigga. It's high level vagina only. And when I say top level vagina, I'm talking about men and women, whoever got a vagina. If it's top level, then you have purple pack. Because what you know what the purple pack make you do? Double pack. Why is it Skittles? Because Skittles, the red pack, this. This right here. Hands down, Gideon, the best candy you've ever tasted. Even if you don't like Skittles no more, because we grown. But when you first tasted this, if you could think back far enough, you're going to be like, damn, I used to love this little bitch. Until that purple pack came out. The purple pack came out and you was like, what is that? That's a new flavor of Skittles? Damn, I like Skittles, except for the yellow one in the back. This one don't got the yellow one in it? Oh, shit. Well, let me get let me get a pack of them. And you eat that pack of purple pack of Skittles for the first time, and you be like, mmm. It's all berries. Mmm. And you double back to get another one of them bitches. You be like, damn, you know what? I'm about to fuck this pack up. I'm going to go back in the store. And you go get you another pack of that purple. That's because the purple is a little more harder to find. If you think about good coochie, high level coochie is harder to find like the purple pack of Skittles. Purple pack of Skittles ain't at every store. It's at some stores. It's at like, uh, you got to be living in a good neighborhood. If your neighborhood store don't got no purple pack, then you live in a bad neighborhood. Nah, I just say what I said. I, that's how you judge. If you don't got no purple pack around you, you need to move around, fellas. Move around. There's purple pack everywhere. You just got to stumble up on it. Thank you so much for coming. Let me catch up with the comments. Romel says Chicago in. Okay, okay. The meet and greet, Boogie B. Yes, it is. The meet and greet. I will do that, Boogie. Thank you so much, Cheryl Lockhart. 
I'm gonna bring mine this Saturday, baby. Yes, bring it, baby. Come on through with it, baby. Come through with your mask and shit. Let me see. Teresa Davis said, I got my hoodie. I know you got yours. Teresa Davis, thank you so much for sending me the picture. Wynette said, yes, double back over 10 years later. Hell yeah, Wynette, you ain't got purple pack. Unless a nigga came to you and was like, hey, do you have any of that coochie that you gave me? Um, The one that you gave me before? When you gave me that coochie that time, you remember? Back when cash money took over for the 99 and the 2000? You're gonna be like, damn, nigga, I gave you that coochie way back then. You still coming back? It's 2021. I got a whole family. I got a damn whole baby and two. I got all two babies and a husband. And you coming back all this time asking for some coochie? I must got purple pack. Woo, this purple pack is a gift and a curse. Get your ass out of here. Ooh, this is a gift and a curse. Go about your business, boy. Shit. You got to throw a nigga out sometime if you got purple pack. If you ain't never did that, then you have red pack. And it's okay because red pack is delicious. Come on, Deborah. Don't let me stress you out, Deborah Gooden. Hey, get you a hoodie, baby, so you can tell the world. Don't just tell it to me. Order you a hoodie from the website or order you one of these little masks. This ain't that much. Order you a little mask. This is adjustable. It's full face. It's going to cover your full face. And so, it's one of these bitches. Get you one of these bitches. Uh, it's L.A. this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. You're right, Charlotte. Thank you so much for telling me. L.A. this weekend, Los Angeles, 5th and 6th. Come see me. Get the tickets. Inbox me. Come on down if you're in L.A. You ain't even got to inbox me. Just show up. Show up and come say what's up after the show. Shit. Hey, thank you so much, Danielle, with the D, for coming every day all the way from the UK. Shay Brown, yeah, two kids and a husband. Yeah, Cat Lee. Man, I'm so thankful y'all in here. Woo! I need y'all today, baby. I was going through some shit. I might have not made it to y'all today. Because sometimes I be going through my little issues, too. I be getting a little sad and depressed sometimes, too. Shit. I, I be trying to push through my shit so I can come talk to y'all ass. I got to get up here and fight it out. Shit. My lady told me, fight it out. Hang in there. She said, fight it out. Hang in there. Don't, don't let it get you down. Hang in there. All my little, all my little female friends, they all be cheering me up and shit. So I got to come every day and talk to y'all. I got to, if I can. Damn what I feel. Come on through, Marie Jude. What up? Let me see. LA this weekend. Yeah, Charlotte, Jessica Rabbit. I can't wait to see you there, Redhead, baby. I can't wait to see you at the show. You can cheer me up, too. Shit. Yeah, but bring all your little homegirls and get y'all for it. Bring y'all hoodies and wear y'all hoodies. Even if you don't wear the hoodie, God damn it, put the hoodie in your purse and bring it with you. Leanne, I feel you. Okay, good. Why not now it's 20 and 30? Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Double back in 20 and 30 years later for Linda Williams. Because Linda Williams one of my senior citizen bookends. Not senior citizen, but one of my senior bookends. One of my senior bookends, meaning 60 plus. I got some book apps that's 60 plus now. They'll teach y'all some shit. That's why I like having everybody in here. So y'all can get the old and the young, the black and the white, a perspective of everything we talk about. Now y'all go share that live. Why this live ain't popping like it's supposed to be, Stacy? Hey, Stacy, this shit's supposed to be, I'm a little more entertaining than I think y'all give me credit for. Y'all supposed to done share with this with like five, six people by now. You standing up here all getting a laugh like everybody else is busy. You don't know who busy. They might not be busy. You you damn sh sh press share and share this live at the bottom of your screen right now. Let me see what I got to my phone. Okay. Thank you so much, Charlotte Jessica Rabbit and Vice President for sharing the live as usual. Natasha, Natasha. What's in that cup? This'll let me stress you out, show cup. Get you one of these off my website, too. What's in it? Green tea, nigga. I'm getting the hype. The green tea got me like this. The green tea be the shit. Get y'all some green tea and get you a little something. Get you some herbs in you. 
Let me tell y'all what we talking about. This is let me show you out your way I roast people on y'all behalf. So if you got somebody for me to roast, I'm on they ass like they waistline. And I'm, I'm never going to stop. If I see that they deserve it, I'm on them all day. Come on to the Let Me Stress You Out show if you think somebody deserves it and you type it in the comments and watch me work. But if I don't get nobody to stress out, somebody inboxes me something and I tell it to y'all and we come up with a mutual agreement if we could. We want to hear everybody's opinion on this. One of my boogies. What did I say? Hold up, let me look at it, because people inbox me this shit. Okay. My bookhead said she was in an in-house breakup. She was broke up with her man. They still live together. She wanted to know. She wanted to know if he did something with somebody else outside of the relationship sexually is that cheating because we're broken up but we're still in the same household is it is it still a violation that he did that or was it considered we was broken up ain't gonna hurt nobody we just dance and made that ain't gonna hurt nobody Wanna give you more? Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my shit. Come on, Shay Brown. What you say? Consummated professional and gentleman. What? Oh boy, Romisha, so damn crazy. Let me see. I had a wonderful time Sunday. Thank you so much, Shay Brown. I appreciate your Romisha, Romisha. Hey, let me see. Thank you, Tina Ronnie, for coming. Hell no. Hell no, Brandy said. He got to go. So wait a minute, Brandy. You saying break up with him if he slept with somebody? Or what if he just say, I just got my dicks up? Well, we was broken up. We was broken up. I mean, that was last week when we wasn't even talking. We ain't even spoke to each other for about a whole damn month. So I went and got me some little, I got some head at the hotel. Is you going to take it? Is you going, is you taking it back? What y'all doing with it? Or oh, is it cheating or is it not cheating? If they live under the same roof. Oh, Charlotte Jessica Rabbit said it's not cheating as long as it's not in the house. Wow. Let me see. Just don't bring them to the crib and we good, Shawana Shank said. So it's not cheating. No, as of right now, you two are roommates. So Sandra Leo says, okay. He can go out and fuck somebody as long as we saying we fuck maybe every once in a while, but we really broke it up. We had uh, established that we broke up, but we still going to live together for about another month till I get my shit together. Not cheating, not cheating, not cheating when you're broke up. Amy Ross says broken up in and inside and staying inside. Yes. So Amy Ross said if you live together, what you saying? I'm talking about y'all still live together. Y'all broke up to where you might have sex one time that whole month. No, it's not cheating if you're not together. Short-term break. Okay. In-house break, though? Yeah, I'm talking about y'all still living together for this in-house break. Y'all just sleeping in separate rooms. Ariel says, hey, Boogie B, I was so sad you weren't on yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ariel. Some, I do my best to try to be here five days a week, baby, and I will as long as I can. Sometimes I'll be traveling. Sometimes I don't feel up to it. Sometimes I'll just be tired, and I have to take a little quick break sometime during the week. But I will be back the very next time that I can. Somebody says it's cheating if you give each other the respect of really ending it by moving out before you start messing around, or I think you are already doing it. That makes sense, Vice President. Vice President said it is cheating if you live together. Y'all should break up first. Break up first and then have sex with somebody else. Like, move out first, she said. Okay, Danielle with the D from the UK agrees that it is cheating if you don't move out. If you broke up, why is he or she still there? Maybe because he, he or she don't have the money to leave right now. It's coming up at the end of the month or something. But y'all still being cordial, sleeping in separate beds, you know, 
Or, and every now and then you'll come sleep up in the bed with that person, but won't do nothing. Is that still cheating? Thank you so much for sharing the live aerial chambers. Let me tell you something. We're trying to figure out the moral to the story is if, if they were broken up, it's not cheating. If it's on the house, it's, if it's in the house, it's still not cheating. It's not the nicest thing to do. But it's still not cheating at the Lord says. At the Lord says that if you have, so if me and At the Lord live together and we break up, we go on through our little problems for two weeks, and she fucks somebody within that two week period, she's saying it's okay. Or if I go fuck somebody during that two week period where we still living together, but we not seeing eye to eye, we talking about breaking up, or we set a date for a breakup. Meaning that I'm moving out on such and such date, on the 3rd. And today is the fucking 16th. Oh. Amy Ross with the song says breakup means no intercourse at all. But I mean, they had, we, they had some intercourse involved. Sounds like you need some good soul food want to play. What the hell? What the hell damn Ariel talking about soul food for at a time like this? Josephine Scott says, all capital letters, I mean, with a lot of exclamation points behind it, Josephine, you say it's cheating if they live together. Thank you for sharing the live, goddamn Lachelle Miles, baby girl. You come here every day sharing that live, too, and them punk-ass people don't be wanting to watch it and shit, but they missing out. That's their loss. You can't, you can't, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink it. Come on, Cat Lee. Cat Lee, Cat Lee said, no one living with me and broken up. Get the fuck out of here. Find a new place to have entanglements. So Cat Lee says, if you're living together, it's cheating. And you're going to have to leave. Cat Lee says. Now, Mintel Lady Streets, let's see what you say. Don't have no damn entanglements in the house with damn Cat Lee, she said. Ariel Chambers, I'm trying to figure out what you're going to say. Josephine said, it's, and Josephine, let me give you the award for the day for the senior, the senior, the senior boogette name of the day. Josephine, that's your grandmother name. That's your great grandma name. Josephine, J-O-S-E-P-H-I-N-E. Who they want? Jo Josephine Scott. Josephine Scott. Girl, you so hot. You was hot back in the day when your grandma was named Josephine as well. <laughs> Break up mean you free to do as you please. But if y'all living together, though, still mental. Okay, Brandon said, see, now they're weighing their options. If they still living together and still doing and still doing the do, then it's cheating. Brandon says, Brandon Beverly says, if you live together and you still fucking every now and then, and you call yourself broke up, but y'all still going to get each other something to eat. And y'all still, you know, in the house being cordial. And you might sneak up in the bed and cuddle. He might sneak up in the bed and cuddle with you. Brandon said, if y'all doing that and you fuck somebody, or what if they don't fuck, Brandon? What if, uh, what if I just get some head? If I just get some head, is that okay for me to just get some head? What if I say, okay, well, I just, I ain't fuck. I got some head, though. Is that still the same as cheating? Is that still the same as a violation? Even though we was kind of almost broken up, we were still living together. A lot of married couples aren't sexually active, but yet they're still married. Okay, but they married. This is different. We're not talking about married. We're talking about together in, in any form. We can, we can incorporate marriage as well, but it's going to be different. Cat Lee said, ha, 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 ha. Thank you so much for laughing in their comments. Bobby said, you broke up, you out of here. Okay, well, once they out, is it is it safe? When they out, it's safe. But when they in, it's not safe for you to fuck somebody or get your dick up. Let me see. If y'all still fucking, it's cheating. Oh, wow. How long a period of time, uh, Marie? Because, like, meaning what? Like, we, we not fucking today, but we might have fucked last week. What about that? Do that count? If we, it may have been seven days ago. May have been seven days since we had sex before. Yeah, I, if I go get some coochie, I'm, that's cheating. Miss Nett says no. Brandon says cheating. Lake Shay Renee don't know what the fucking thing. She just in the comments like, ooh. 
That's my auntie name, your auntie name, Josephine. Yeah, your auntie gotta be up there in age, man. Leticia Washington, I know you're late, but you're right on time for the time. Let me see what Ariel said. Now, if y'all are still sleeping each other, even though y'all broke up, that's just a relapse moment. We've all done it. Um, it's a relapse moment. Okay, well, if you have a relapse moment and then you go fuck somebody and y'all, that person find out and get mad. Is it okay that they mad that you did that? That you slept with somebody, even though y'all had sex a month ago? Yeah, you damn right you named that for your aunt Josephine Scott. I could have damn well told you that. Leticia, the topic today is, is in-house broken up? If you in the house, if me and Leticia live to the, together, me is the Leticia Washington household, but look at me been living there for two years. And me and Leticia get on a bad note in a relationship for about, um, you know, we had our little issues. But for the last two weeks, it's been sleeping in the other room and planning to move out or planning to break up. We just, like, we in limbo kind of where we ain't even in a relationship, but we ain't out of the relationship because we live together. If... I slip out and go get my dick sucked. Is it cheating? I just got my dick sucked. Damn, I ain't put the ding lean in her. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> if I say that, first off, would you believe it? <laughs> Does effing constitute a relationship? Some of y'all get real particular right now. A lot of people eff, that's not a couple. If you're still under the roof, it's the same roof. It's not over yet. That makes sense. It's not over yet if you're over the same roof. If y'all live together and y'all been living together for two years or one year, and y'all have a week or two weeks or a month where y'all not having sex, and y'all say that y'all breaking up, but if nobody ain't left the house yet, are we free to fuck who we want or get my dick up when I want? Because we live together, but we ain't together together. We ain't been together in a month. Come on, Romeo Harris. I'm trying to figure out what you said. Hold on. Let me look back in the comments. If you broke up, then it's not cheating, then Tell says. If you broke up in the same household, it's not cheating. That's what she said. Let's be real. Having sex doesn't equal a relationship. Both of y'all vo voice is over. Then y'all not together, so it's not cheating. <clears throat> okay. Charlotte said, if I say it's over and you say it's over. But what if we ain't say it's over? We just said, one of us said, fuck you, kiss my ass, bitch, blah, blah, blah. And the other person said, I'm done. Go in the other room so you can get your shit and get out of here. And that person goes and fuck somebody else. Is that cheating or not? Then you still live together. Respect each other enough to wait. What's the rush? I understand that one too. Okay, Ariel says, nah, not really. It, it, it's cheating if they know they're getting back together, Ariel, uh, 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 Danielle said. But you never know if you're getting back together. Now, nah, that ain't never no way to, they ain't never no way to figure out if you're going to get back together. If you still live together, it's a good possibility that you might get back together. But if you move out and you say you broken up and y'all ain't fucking, yeah, then maybe. If, you, if you're not back in love by Monday, you might as well go your separate ways. So if you one week, if y'all not in love in one week, you might as well go your separate ways next day. Hell no to me is not cheating. If you announce the breakup, it is what it is. When everybody broken up, they free to roam and be getting mad, but we're human. But you free to roam, but you still live with, with your man, though. You free to roam and you live with your man and you just been broke up for two weeks. You already free for the game? That's kind of risky for me. This cousin is in a situation where she feel like if it's not the cheese, y'all just roommates and not sleeping together, but if they have kids together. 
But if you got kids together, is, is it even still? Let's say you do got kids. Is it then cheating just because you got kids? So the kids make it okay for you to, uh, 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 the kid, if, so without the kids, it's okay to go fuck somebody else in y'all in-house breakup. An uh, in-house breakup is what we talk about. We ain't talking about two people that been living apart. We talk about two people that been living together and they in the house, but they kind of broken up because they having their problems or whatever. And no arrangements, hard arrangements have been set, but y'all feel like you're breaking up. But y'all still being cordial and in the house and doing this and laying up and sometimes every now and then maybe having sex. But not guaranteed. Net said one week, LOL. Net, net, net hard, net cold blooded, boy. Net and your, and, and damn, uh, 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 Yolanda at Nalloy, they some tough cookies right there, boy. Woo! Sometimes that's how to move on, hop on to the next one and get over them. Okay. And if that person finds out that you hopped on, and you say that you didn't hop on. It is, is it just, what? It's an in-house cheat now. Does it count as a cheat if y'all broke up? If Ariel says no. I agree with that, Brandon said. One week and then we should be done. Okay, one week of no sex or one, one week of what? Of just beefing? What's going on? Personally, if we're broken up, he's out with other people. It's not cheating because I don't want him back anyway. But if you do want him back, then it's cheating. See, come on now, Danielle with the D now. Let's make this shit make sense. It, it seems like y'all got a lot of damn stipulations in here. People do messy action and to make other person mad. Never let them see you sweat. Bro, me should say. Oh, well, we ain't gonna... Let me see what Leticia say. Leticia say what I'm saying, Boogie, is my cousin says she thinks it's not cheating if y'all not sleeping together. And you go out and get sucked up or she will go out and get ate up. They grown anyway. They can do what they want to do. Okay. But what if y'all get back together right after that? Does that make it cheat? No, or that's just, oh no, I did that while we was broken up. That don't count. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this about that. First off, we're making up the same day. But if you didn't make up the same day, I'm saying my boogie, boogie bro is in a situation where he slipped that dick on somebody when the little two week period they were broken up, in house broken up. And which they had might have fucked one time within that two week period. But they were sleeping in separate rooms most nights. Broke up. He slipped some dick on somebody and she found out. He's wondering what should he do? Is she supposed to be mad at this? Because she wanted to break up. She said she did. And he said, well, fuck it. I'm going to go slang this wood out the hood. Then. Even though we live together, I'm about to get me a hotel next weekend. Be in a hotel all weekend to fuck somebody. Or get my pussy ate all, or get my dick sucked all night. That's what I'm saying. We was broke up. That don't count-ish. Doesn't fly with me. It don't fly with you, Vice President. When you broke up and we... We was broke up shit, that don't count with her. So if you say we broke up, nah. Oh, now Teresa Davis said, bullshit, he cheated. How did he cheat, Teresa? You said you wanted to break up with me. I said, cool, I'm going to go sleep in the other room then. I said, cool, I'm going to go sleep in the other room again. I slept in the other room. I might have tipped in there and fucked you one or two times. But for the whole two weeks, I've been sleeping in my room. You've been sleeping in your room. We've been eating, talking and everything, but we ain't back together. I fucked somebody. You telling me that's cheating in, in that two-week little period? Let me see what y'all saying now. Teresa Davis with 100 in the chat. If it is cheating, let me get everybody who thinks that this situation is cheating. 
to put a hundred in the chat. Put just one one hundred in the chat if you feel like it is cheap. And I'm gonna start counting it now. No, don't put. I'm not counting none of the other ones y'all put. Let me see. Y'all were talking about if we make up and get back together. I don't wanna know what you did. We back on clean slate. Wow, Charlotte said clean slate if we get back together. That's like getting fired from your former boss when you find another job. Okay. Okay. Let me try to angle this shit up a little bit. Let me see. Uh, uh, Stacy Ann finds, yes, it is cheating with kids involved, especially if still having sex and and no of other lovers. Respect other people's feelings and you will never know if the other wanted to try and work it out. You're right, Stacy. You never know if the other person was going to try to work it out. Y'all still under the same roof. Kids or no kids? Let me tell y'all this. Let me break it down for y'all because this is the time for the show where I call WWBBD. What would Boogie B do? Now, in the WWBBD portion of the show, I'm going to back up what I say with factual stuff that you maybe or may not can agree with, but makes perfect sense. Now, not cheating, but it's disrespectful and messy, Shea Brown said. So both of y'all agree that it's not, well, some of y'all said it is cheating. Teresa said he should have moved out, so it's cheating. So if the man didn't move out and he fucked somebody still living under the girl roof, that is cheating. Now, okay, Ariel, when we break up, that's it. Over, I'm free to do as I please. So if you, Ariel, was letting me, and I, you say, Boogie, I'm tired of this, go sleep in the other room, we broke up. And I go out the house the next weekend, or two weeks later, I'll book a hotel, and I go to the hotel, and I'll fuck somebody, and then on Monday, I come back. And you, you can't ask me where I was at. You can't, so that's, that's what you're telling me? You can't say, did you fuck? What if you find out that I did do something? What if you hired a private investigator and the private investigator brought you or you hired a hacker or something like that and they sent you screenshots and everything where the person did, in fact, go to a hotel with somebody else and for the weekend, why are y'all together? Is that cheating or not? Let me tell you something. If I'm living with you and you go sleep with somebody else, yes, you did cheat. You definitely did cheat. Because we still living together and it was no telling if we was going to get back together or not. If you do anything that you can't tell me that you've done while we living up under the same roof, then that is cheat. I don't care if you go get a room. I don't care what you do. If you come back to this house and you act a funny with me still and all that shit, especially if I find out that you cheated on me and you still ain't fucking me Boy, and, and I'm pressing you to get something and you just like no I'm tired or no I don't feel like it or no whatever no you ain't saying no because we not together you saying no not because I don't want to you giving other excuses to me as to why you not fucking me after I just know that you fucked somebody else after I done found out that you had sex with somebody else and I haven't, and we in a relationship, in the household together, and I'm still trying to get back with you. If you, if we broken up, I don't care. If we break up, let that Gucci marinate a little bit before you go get it ate. Or before you go get it uh, uh, fucked on. Let it marinate for at least a month, ladies. Y'all are hot in the ass, asses. Woo, y'all some hot cat heifers in here want to get that coochie away. Two weeks after you break up with somebody, you're trying to give coochie to somebody else? That is dumb as hell. You do that, and you're going to end up getting back with the person and having an outside of where locked baby. And y'all still together, and y'all was only broken up for two damn weeks. Y'all was having problems, but you was only broken up, but still living together for two weeks? And you done already fucked somebody? No, that pussy was ready to get something. Because you know how long it takes for a woman to give a man some pussy? It ain't just happened in two weeks that nigga who's the pussy out you that quick when we living together. You ain't been telling me you've been going on dates. You ain't been telling me you uh, 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 
hanging with other niggas. You've been telling me that. I mean, you've been portraying to me like we might get possibly back together. And you went out. Oh, I wish the fuck you would. Hey, no, no, no. Hold on, Octavia. It's not cheating, but it is cheating, though. No, 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 no. I'm saying if we live together in the same roof and you go fuck somebody, it ain't cheating, but it's very disrespectful. It is cheating because I caught you in it and you lied about it. If you just came out and said, okay, I fucked somebody, but we broke up anyway, I don't want to fuck you no more. I would have been like, bet, cool, all right, my bad. But if you said, I didn't do that, and I caught you doing it, and you're lying about it, come on now. I don't know, this shit get real different now. The respect. The household, don't fuck somebody else in the house, do it at a hotel. I'm not talking about doing it where you do it at. I don't care where you done it at, Ariel. If you fuck somebody else and we just been broke up for two weeks, you have been plotting to fuck that person. So you was cheating prior to you fucking. You was cheating on me before the two weeks was up. Before we started the two weeks, you was cheating. Thank you, goddamn. Uh, uh, no respect, Brandon said. Uh, Teresa Davis said, flat out, it's cheating, period. He should have moved on that, said, period. Okay. Hi, Desiree from the Caribbean Islands. This is what we're dealing with now. If you in a relationship and you live with a man, and y'all having y'all issues and y'all broke up for two weeks, and he fucked somebody, he ain't one night staying nobody, it take time for you to arrange a hotel room. It take time for you to know that you about to go get some pussy at a hotel room. That ain't just happened in no two weeks. You've been talking to this nigga prior to the two weeks before you fucked him. So you was cheating then, and then you cheated again while you used, you could, because you could have easily started an argument to say, oh, I'm about to, that fuck you, I'm good on you. And you go fuck somebody, you just did that to go fuck somebody. You could possibly do that. And if you do possibly do that, I'm going to be on your ass. Because that is cheating. Because you was cheating prior to you fucking. Even if you fucked while, you was, while we was on our little two-week period under the same roof. And I'm watching your behavior every day. And I could see that we ain't all that bad. I'm not going to accept that you just fucked somebody right now. And that's the only part of the thing that you did. It's more to cheating than fucking ladies and gentlemen let's get all on one accord i know i'm gonna lose some of y'all i know i'm gonna lose some of y'all because it sounds like i'm doing some type of bashing let me tell a joke vice president he he ha ha knock knock who's there let me say something funny before niggas start checking out and saying this nigga speaking too real i don't want to hear this shit it ain't no cheating if we just been if we broke up for two weeks but we still living together and i fucked somebody that's not cheating yes it is because your ass was cheating before you fucked is and can we all come on somebody put a hundred in the chat if i'm speaking all facts somebody put a hundred in the chat if you know good and well if you fuck somebody after we've been together for three years or two years and we've been living together for one year, if you able to fuck somebody, you mentally been gone before the two week period, you supposed to have dead at that whole shit. If I catch you cheating, you supposed to say, you supposed to say, look here, Boogie B, I'm Ariel. I fucked. I went out, you said we was broke up, I went out and fucked somebody. You shouldn't have said we was broke up, and I wouldn't have did it. I would be like, you know what? You might be right. You know what? We was broke up. But if you come in there, Ariel, and say, no, I didn't. I didn't fuck nobody. No, I wasn't at a hotel room getting dick. No, I didn't go get my dick sucked. I didn't do that. If you keep lying about it and this person got proof that you did it, you disrespecting a relationship on two levels. One level that how you say, how you able to go do that type of, how you able to build that type of relationship with somebody else when you so called in love. If your ass in love, you must have went, been gone out of love before the two months. In that scenario, then it is, Ariel said, Ariel, listen, let's not try to put a scenario to it, but this is the scenario that my boogie bro is in. He fucked somebody, but when I said it was him, y'all said it was cheating. When I said it was her, y'all like, that ain't cheating. 
So, no, 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 no. Let, uh, let's make this clear. Before you put your ding in a coochie, you done cheated before that. Before you, when, you, when you're on the phone with the person and you building that relationship where it might lead to fucking, you already cheating, baby girl. You been cheating. You just about to put the dick in the Gucci. You putting the key in the lock, but you already done broken the house. You done climbed through the window. You climbed through the window, and now you gonna put the key in the lock for what? You already, whether you put the key in the lock or not, you still already cheated. If we can agree that cheating is more than sex, come on, Keith, let's talk about it. So it's in the side action, or he's lying, or the lying is the problem. Keith, that's what I'm trying to figure out. It's the combination of the two, though, Keith. It's the fact that you got the coochie, even though you, even though you felt like we was broken up, you went and got some coochie. But the lying about it makes it. The lying about getting the coochie makes it a uh, 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 intentional lie. Makes it intentionally. I knew I was sneaking. So now I got to lie to you so that you don't think that I snuck and did what you think I did. Even though you know I did, but I can't let you think that I did that. Because that is the lie that leads to the real cheat. The, that, that lie leads to the fact that you've been liking this nigga and you're covering for them. You want to keep that relationship solid so you're not going to be honest about it and say yes. I fucked Jack Jones. And Jack Jones, because I thought me and you wasn't getting back together and never was getting back together, even though we lived together. I thought you was moving out on the 13th, so I fucked. Yes. If you say that, then it, it takes away the power in the lie. The power in the lie is the more powerful than the infidelity. Especially if the other person very much has evidentiary evidence or you just come out and say, okay, I got my dick up. I didn't fuck though, so I didn't cheat. If you say that, you definitely cheated. Because that means that you really like this person. That means that you're not trying to tell. So when you tell, when you cheat, you become a liar because you cheated and you're trying to cover it up to save somebody else's feelings. Come on, Shawana Shanks. Tell these niggas I ain't telling no lies to them. Thank you, Leticia, for jumping on board. This is the Let Me Stress You Out show. I skew your perspective to something where it may just be a little bit more to it than what you saying it is. I know you late, Miss Pooh, but what you missed is... My Boogie Pro had sex with another girl while he was in a two-week breakup period, two weeks after they supposedly broke up, but they still living together. Might have had sex a couple of times in that two-week period, but they still was considering themselves broken up. He fucked somebody, and she caught him, and he lied about the shit and said that he didn't fuck. And then he finally said, okay, I did, I did get to a hotel room for the weekend, but I just got my dick sucked and I kicked the bitch out and I wanted to relax by myself. If he tell you that, you saying that you you cool with that because y'all was broken up? Or is that a cheat now that he lied? It's already could be construed either way without the lie on top of it. But once you put that goddamn sugar on top of that bitch, oh, you get a sweet one. And this is where the shit come through from. Cheryl Lockhart said that's bullshit. If you stick your dingling in a sinus, a mouth, a vagina, it's still cheating. Stop playing. So, if I, whether I got my dick sucked or not, whether I poke the poke the poke or not, I still cheated. Cheryl Lockhart said sex, sex is any form of sex. You can put your dingling in the ear and you're still cheating, according to Cheryl Lockhart. Okay, I think Boogie B has spoken and I agree. Thank you so much, Teresa Davis. I just wanted you to see the whole picture because sometimes when you only see this part of the picture, this shit might look good. But then when you look at the whole picture, you're like, oh shit, this fucked up. Back yourself up sometime and look at the whole picture. Before you start talking about it ain't cheating, if we was broken up, you need to think about the circumstances surrounding your breakup. Is y'all really broken up? Have y'all been together, been broken up for months and months? Have, are y'all out of the house together? Are y'all not fucking? 
Are y'all not seeing each other every day? If you are not, 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 then it's not cheating. But if you are, and then you're not, and then you are, and then you're not, that is cheating. Because of the, the time that you took away from investing in your relationship, you was up here fucking off texting your picture of your, picture of your pussy to somebody else. Or, or sending a deep picture of your ding to another woman. Instead of focusing to get back on y'all two feet in y'all relationship. The lies cements the breakup for me. Romisha said when you lie to her about it, that cements the breakup. So Romisha saying, I might let you pass. With, 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 going and you did what you did. You saying that you broke up and you coming on clean with it. But if you lie about it, Romisha said, no, nah, it's stamp sealed and delivered. You're out of there because you now you're doing two crimes at one time. This is a whole conspiracy charge now. Hey, hell yeah, Miss Net, the lie put the pin in it. If you tell the truth a lot of times, and fellas be good with this, a lot of fellas will come on clean with it after you caught them. They'll be like, like a man, bro. Only thing I did was I did get my dick sucked out before I fucked up. I tripped out I, and I got my dick sucked and I said, fuck it, I'm leaving the room. I'm going back to my house and I fucked up. If my wife catch me or if my girlfriend catch me, I'm going to just say, fuck it. I did what I did. I apologize. The bitch don't mean nothing to me. I just did that and I'm tripped out. I might take you back if you very sincere in your apology. If you came clean with it, if you came clean like a woman can't leave and say, look, I went and popped this pussy. I'm going to be honest with you. You caught me, but but I know, and I don't know how you know that, but I did. I went and did that, and I thought we was broke up, and I ain't never think we was getting back together. Fuck that nigga. If you want me, you can have me from here on out. I don't want him. Blah, blah, blah. I'm on, I'm on with you now. If you want to fix this shit and work this shit out, I'm on with you. If you say that, I might be like, hmm, well, you know, she did just fuck a nigga last weekend, so I am upset, but, you know, she seems very apologetic, and she seems real and genuine in the fact that she ain't gonna do this again. I know emotional, physical, oral, anal, penetration, spending time, sexting, premeditated, all cheating. Thank you so much, Danielle, with a D from the UK. Come on now, we got to get this shit together uh, at the Lord. I'm not about to ask what happens on a breakup. Okay, but if you find out, if it falls in your lap, as to something did happen during the breakup, and this person lies about it to you, even though y'all still broke up but living together, this person lies and says, at the Lord, I was never nowhere near a hotel. Whatever you saw, that was a lie. Whoever told you that, they lied. I don't care if you got pictures and evidence, every evidence, everybody lied, except me. If I say that to you, Adeloy, you still gonna say, okay, cool, we back together? I'm trying to see what Adeloy says. Let me see. If you still love each other, just don't smash anyone else. And by smashing, she means anal, oral, any other type of physical contact with a person of the opposite sex that could be deemed inappropriate. Woo! Come on from the UK, Moten Tor Torre. You done came on back through. You late, but you right on time for this fire. The Bugettes was all in the building an hour ago. You need to come earlier next time, Moten Torre. You done popped in here too late trying to shoot your, sh shoot your shot. Hey, the Let Me Stretch You Out show, we only got eight more damn minutes. Hey, come on now. I need you. Don't insult my intelligence with a lie, Romisha says. Hey, I see a lot of hundreds in the chat. I think I done, I think I done brought y'all on around. I think everybody, even maybe at the Lord, even maybe Ariel might be on board. Shh. The shot hit different when you're the target. Ooh, I know it. Damn sure do. When it's you on the other side of the board, you like, that's cheating. But if it's you that did the cheating, you like, that ain't cheating. But either way, if I lie to you, a lie is a lie is a lie. A cheat is a cheat is a cheat. No matter how 
you did what you did, the fact that you have to lie to cover it up means that you know it's a cheat. Because you don't want to say the real shit what really happened. By you sugarcoating it or minimizing it, you just making yourself seem like you want to continue to do it. Therefore, you cementing the breakup. You can wean your way back in with the truth sometimes. If somebody got you dead right and you they telling you shit you know it's factual, just break on down and say, look, I did that. You got an excuse because we living together, but we broke up. So I did that. Then the person might be able to overlook the fact that you just got out some coochie. You just got out some coochie on Sunday. I see you on Monday and we laying in the bed together cuddle. I don't know at that time that you just got you some coochie. Um, if we just laid in the bed together and cuddled and didn't fuck the night after you fucked somebody else or got your coochie, that is a cheat because of the lie. Ipso facto, the shit that happened leading up to the fuck. You didn't just meet and, meet and fuck in two weeks. If you did, you're out here hoeing. So this is a nigga that you've been knowing that you, or this is a girl that you've been knowing and you fucked because y'all built a relationship. So if y'all built a relationship outside of this relationship, you was already cheating before the fuck. Call the cheater show. You damn right I will. Because Adna Lloyd said it is what it is. I expect a lot. So Adna Lloyd, you said even if the person cheat, they even if they didn't cheat, they just fucked. If I fucked somebody this weekend and I cuddled with you on Monday, like nothing happened, and on Tuesday you get the news sent to you that I was just in some coochie for the weekend on Sunday, while I told you I was somewhere else. And when you asked me, I said no. I wasn't at no room cheating with nobody. I didn't do but no. If I was at a room, I was just there to kick it for the weekend. So wait a minute. Was you or was you there? Was you not there or was you there? No, I wasn't there. But then you say, uh, so you wasn't at a hotel at all? Mm. But you were at a hotel. Okay, I was at a hotel, but I didn't fuck. If I tell you that after we supposed to be broke up on Sunday, but we slept in the same bed on Monday, but that Sunday, the weekend, I fucked somebody or I put the room that Friday and stayed till that Sunday, then came back to our in-house breakup. That means that I'm cool doing that. I don't know if thoughts be out cheating, prowling sometimes. I don't know. So keep you on the fence with it. You don't know if it's cheating or not. Come on now. Hey, Kyle Williams, cheating or no? Put it in there real quick because we only got a few minutes. Just type in cheating or not cheating. Real quick, Kyle Williams, just to solidify what I'm saying. Because if y'all was living together, Kyle, and you broke up for two weeks, and in that two-week period, your lady fucked somebody else. And then after that two-week period, you found out that she fucked somebody else on a Tuesday. And she fucked somebody else on a Sunday. And y'all slept together, but not sex, on a Monday. Now, is this cheating or not cheating? If you caught her and then when you tell her that you have the evidentiary evidence, she says that you're lying. And she say you don't got no evidence. And you know you do have evidence. Kyle Williams said it's definitely cheating, little brother. Teresa Davis said it's cheating in the man room. Damn, damn. I don't know if it's a song or not, but I'm going to make it a song. Cheating in the next room. Oh, hey, song. Oh, I thought I remember that little jam, that little ditty. Come on through, Amy Ross, with the song. She said cheating. Okay, everybody. So now we start to agree. This is why we were broken. This is wild. We were bro in a two-week breakup period, but living under the same roof. And you slept with this person, got a hotel room on Friday, slept, had another person suck your dick in there, and then you came back on Monday, and then me and you slept in the same bed cuddling, and then on Tuesday, I find out you was fucking 
on Sunday. Even though prior to we had said we was broken up, that's why we wasn't hardly, we was about to fall off. We was almost out the game. Okay, Net said it's cheating. I think everybody agree. Okay, Miss Pooh on the theme of cheating. Okay. But I feel like this, ladies and gentlemen, it is cheating. But you can minimize your cheat with the truth. You can't minimize. Thank you, Keith. Uh, Keith said it was cheating as well. You can't minimize cheating with a lie because you maximize your cheat. So your woman will take you back if you just, if she already know and she telling you all the true information, just agree with whatever she say and apologize. Don't shift the blame on her. But you made me feel, but we was broke up. Don't minimize it by shifting blame on the other person. Minimize it with the truth. Say to that person, yes, I did that. I'm not going to lie to you. I did do that. I know you know it now. I don't know how you know it, but I did that. But if you could forgive me, I would never do that again because I thought we was broken up for real. It, I cheated because I thought we was broken up. Then you can minimize it and I might take you back. I might say, okay, let's work on it. I might, come on now, I'm doing too much damn preaching on here. Keith, I better tell a joke for this damn show over with, but I ain't got time for no jokes. This is the Let Me Stretch You Out show, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, comedian Boogie B, the New Orleans representative, a.k.a. the mouth for the South, a.k.a. Mr. Come here, let me stretch you out. And I ain't gonna tell you nothing but the truth every day. You can watch all the shows back. And you gonna laugh, and you gonna learn each one of them. Hit that cash app for your boy, dollar sign, Boogie B, LLC. Hit that cash app or that paypal.me backslash Boogie B, N E N T. I need you to come through for me so I can keep coming through for you. That's all. Come on, Ariel. The truth will always set you free. Even Ariel agrees with, if you did it, tell the truth about it, and it will set you free. If you don't lie and you tell that truth, that person can handle it better and good. Okay, Morton Torrey, come on time tomorrow. We will be back. Wait, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I might not be back. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Wednesday. I won't be back tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. I will be I might be back tomorrow. I might be a little late, but I might be back tomorrow if I can. If not, I will see y'all on Wednesday. Thank y'all so much. I'm going over to IG. Let's start over. Comedian Boogie B, if you got it, if you got time, come on over there. Comedian, at Comedian Boogie B on IG.